This one is for um, Eureka Math, um, Gage New York, Lesson Module 1, Lesson 26, Percents of a Quantity. And this one we'll be learning how to find the different percent, solve different percent problems. Uh, we'll use a couple different methods. We will use um, a, t a percent ruler and also the giant one or the multiplication ruler to solve these problems. There are other strategies you can use. Um, you can use any strategy that works for you, but in order to be able to do this, um, we're going to be able to, in order to solve these problems, you need to understand that percents are a part to whole relationship, and that's the hardest part with some of these is identifying the parts and the whole. Reading the question, deciding whether you have the part, both parts, one part, whatever, and whether you have the whole, whether they need to find the whole, or you need to find the part. So that's what you got to work through on these and try to figure it out. Then we're going to show how to use a percent ruler and how to use a giant one to solve these. And then later on, you'll be able to choose which strategy works for yours. The first few problems, we'll show how to use both those, and then I'll kind of go back and forth between them for the last problems. We're going to do the examples and the exercise. I encourage you on these videos to try to do as much of them as you can on your own, and then use the video to check it and to um, see if you're doing it correctly or to use it if you get stuck and need help. So that's the way I encourage you to use these videos. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the first example here. So 25 of the girls at the Alden Middle School soccer team are seventh grade students. Find what percentage of the students of the seventh grade are on the team. Show two different ways of solving one of those must be a diagram. So we're going to start off with a diagram here. A diagram we're going to use is what's percent roller. A percent ruler, now how you draw it, they draw a little bit different. I just like to draw a line here, and it's basically a line that starts with zero, and it goes to 100%. You can put the 100% on the bottom, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you have zero and a percent, and then, so right here we have zero, and we know that there are 25 girls, so our total is 25. So we have our in here and then we also have one of the parts so this right here this is a part and this is the whole and so we need to find this they want us to find the percent so that's what we're trying to find on this one is the percent so that's what we need to try to find on this one is the percent so as we work through that that's what we're going to be looking at is how can we find those so on this one, down here, so five out of those 25 here, we know that this is um, five. And what you want to do on that is try to figure out, well, I know that five fives make up 25, so this would be five, 10, 15, 20. So I just broke that up into five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And I can also break 100 up into five pieces. So 20 go, 100 goes into five pieces. And if I take 100 and divide it by five, that's going to go into there. Um... 20 times, isn't it? So each one of these is going to be 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So that's how a percent ruler works. Now what's nice about a percent ruler is you can often answer more than one question with it. In this case, though, it wants to know what percent of those five girls on this seventh grade team. So right there, this is the 20%. So there's our answer right there is 20% of those. So 20%, that's the, our, the seventh grade girls are 20%. So our seventh grade. Now we can use a giant one or the multiplication method. We could set this one up the same way. So if we had... 5 out of 25, so again, this is our part, this is our whole, 
our hole we always need to get to and don't always assume the hole is the largest because sometimes we can again we can have percents more than 100 we need to get this to 100 uh, we know we multiply that by four so we use a giant one of four over four and we'd end up with 20 and 20 out of 100 then that would be 20 percent so that's another way of doing it so there's a couple different methods either our giant one or multiplication method or our percent diagram and some things are going to be easier to solve with percent um, ruler some of them are going to be easier to solve with a um, with a giant one let's go ahead and look at another one here okay so this one we knew the part and the whole we need to find the percent and that's just like changing the fractions to a percent like we've done before let's go ahead and look at another one here all right so this one of the 25 girls on the all-in team, 40% um, also play on the travel team. How many girls are on the middle school team also play on the travel team? So we need to find out what this 40% is that plays on the travel team. So in this case, we don't, we know the, this again, this is our whole. we know the percent over here we need to find we need to find the part that's what this is right here how many of the girls on the middle school play also play on the travel team so this is the part right here that we're trying to find so we need to find the part let's try this one with a, well, again we'll start with a percent ruler so again, we know that we have zero and one hundred percent. We know that this is right here, twenty-five again. Zero. Now this time, forty percent. Forty doesn't go into hundred, but I do know that twenty does, and that's five times again. So I'm going to break this out into twenty, forty, sixty. 80 so you got to find something that you can break those percents up into and it might sometimes be clear down to ones you wouldn't draw them all there but that would be an option you could use so 40 and then i broke this up into five again so 5 10 15 20 25 so this would be 5 10 15 20 so the one that correlates to 40% would be right here, and that is my 40% there. So 40% is 10 girls. So there are 10 girls on the travel team. So let's go ahead and solve the same problem with the giant one. In this case, we don't know what goes. So we have something over 25 is equal to, in this case, we're going to be, we know that we have 100 over 40. And I probably could set this up the other way. Let's go ahead. Let me just set this up a little bit different way. Um, Whoops, uh, it's not. It's not letting me write. Uh, it's not clicking the erase. I'm gonna start since I have my percent. I'm just gonna start with that, and I need to get this reduced down. Now I know I need to get this down to 25 here. And if you don't know what it does, you can just reduce down. But we know that we can divide 100 by. Four to get it down to so we're going to divide by a giant one of four over four to get it down to 25 so 100 divided by four gets us down to 25 and 40 divided by four gets us down to 10 so that's how we use a giant one to get it down that way and solve it so this one we knew the whole and we knew the percent so we basically simplify the percent down or again we use our percent ruler and the same percent ruler we had on the last one to figure that one out okay all right let's go ahead and try another one whoops okay 
The Alden School Girls Soccer Team won 80% of its games this season. If the team won 12 games, how many games did it play? Solve the problem using at least two different methods. Okay. So, they won 80% of its game. The team won 12. So, let's talk about what we have. This is our percent. We know we got the percent. The team won 12 games. How many games did it play? So, the key is this is our part. This is a percent. It has a percent with it. And they want us to find the whole. We could use, um, I'm going to go ahead and just use a percent rule on this one. Some of you could figure it out with a one. So I have, again, let's go here. We have one, or zero, sorry, to 100. And now we have, I'm going to break this up again. Since 80, again, that's a multiple of 20. Could break it up into fives or tens if we wanted to. But I'm going to break it up into 20s again. So we have 20, 40, 60, and 80. And I know 80, so the soccer team won 80% of its games. So I know 80 correlates to 12. So if you look right here, this 12 is made up out of 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces. So it's made up out of four pieces, so that means each one of those pieces would be three. So we'd have three, six, nine, twelve, and then that would go on to fifteen. So that means they had a total of fifteen games, and that's what we're asking for, fifteen games. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one with a giant one also. Um, so with a giant one, we set up again what we know. We know 80 over 100 is equal to something over, again, we know it's, it's, it's in this case, it's a little bit different because it's 12, we know it's 12 over something. Uh, we can't get 80 into 12, so we're going to have to reduce this down. I'm going to divide them both by 10 over 10. This is where the tape, the percent ruler might be the easiest. So that would give us 8 over 10. Divide both of these by 2. So that would give me, that would equal 4 over um, 5. So we have 4 over 5. Remember, we need to get, we have to get 12 on top. So once I have that, I can times by 3 over 3, which would give me 12 over 15. And again, so we end up with 15 games. So that's another way you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here so it doesn't get too long. I'll create another video to do um, work through the exercises. So good luck, and let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day. Bye.